Good grief. Mm. Fish on. Come here, baby girl. Come here. Oh. Come on. Bit the wrong hook today. Oh, good green. And I was getting ready to leave. Hey, girl. Oh, is that a guy? Oh, it's a guy. What's up, dude? You thought I was leaving. I went about three inches deeper. All right, I'm gonna do a quick video on how I fillet my crappie and pretty much any other sunfish out there. They pretty much all fillet the same. I'm a fillet knife man, you know. I don't like using the electric fillet knife. Um, so I'm gonna try to find the biggest ones in there because they're easier to fillet. As you see, I got a couple of slabs in there. Uh, ooh, look at that one. Look at her, uh, him. Look at that thing there. I'm gonna fillet this one first. Fillet that one up and then I'm going to fillet, it's a, almost a two pound shell cracker in here somewhere. Uh, where are you? Here she is, right here that next so always make sure my fillet knife is nice and nice and sharp go behind that first fin cut the back side cut both sides just because I'm just OCD like that and cut it that way Come back, find my cut. Now, I try to find, follow the line right here and it'll fillet right out. So you stick your tip in. Once you find that line right there, your blade will follow. It's nothing to you know, overthink, overguess, you know, then you get back to the back side, close to the tail, you stick your tip in until you can feel the tail. You can actually feel the bone. And then you push your knife all the way through, if you can see, all the way through, press down. You want a nice flexible, you know, fillet knife, press down on the backbone. And then you just go all the way through I usually stop right there, come flip it over, find my first cut, do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I keep going across, going, going on that line, as you can see, you know, you real nice sharp blade. Keep going until you can actually feel your backbone Push down on your blade, same thing on the back side. Keep going, about right there. Now, since I'm already on this side, I take my thumb and I rub, run it alongside my fillet so I can actually feel what I got going on. Come back in. You just keep making your cuts. Cut it free up top. Keep making your cuts. 
you can hear that the rib bones right there i don't want that so i'm gonna keep filleting on top of that as close to the rib bone as possible as you can see as i'm filleting i'm folding out my fillet see that i'm getting all that nice meat on the fillet leaving the rib cage keep going now this may not be the way that a lot of people do it but this is how i do it nice and easy now keep going as you can see now there's my fillet now i leave it on there because i want something to be able to pull against you know that way i don't have to hold the the fillet down with a finger or whatever it's still attached to the actual fish so I always come in at an angle because you don't want to cut through the skin come in at an angle push down on your blade up against the surface just like that there's my fillet and i keep going keep going keep going and there's my fillet nice no waste at all nice fillet so i just take it throw it in my cooler ice bam that's a meal i take it now some people you know they'll actually take it and they'll cut that skin off and they'll cut it here and then they'll batter and they'll fry this part and they'll actually eat the remaining part of the fish here uh it's not enough fish there for me to play with so i don't even waste my time drop it in the bucket get the next one i'm gonna go for the shell cracker they're still slimy because i just caught these the other day i uh, caught them from the bank uh over in oconee oconee georgia Lake Oconee. So, same situation. I'm looking for my line. Line. I come in behind the fin, behind the gill plate. There's the gill plate. There it is right there. And I just want to get right behind it. Make my stroke. Simple as that. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Bam. Now, turn my knife towards the back of the tail. Find my line. You can actually feel the backbone. Follow the line all the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Then, you just want to get back towards the back end closest to the tail. Push your knife through over the top of the bone. Just like that. Blade comes through. Push down. Stop, flip it over, come here, do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, you notice I'm keeping my fingers on top of the fish, nowhere near the action of the blade. I keep following my line, follow my line, get close to the back, push through, push down on top of the bone, there we go. Since I'm on this side, I run my thumb all the way through. Same thing. There's my rib cage right there. You can hear it. Fold it up. Keep going. Now I'm not going to film filleting all of them because it's pretty redundant. Pretty much going that is some pretty meat right now we're eating these today this is going to be our uh fish fry for today since i didn't get a chance to come home and clean them yesterday we like fresh fish right out the lake push down on that keep on going bam there's the fillet 
Drop them in. Bam. Well, as you can see, nada in the crappy cooler. Nothing but fillets in that cooler. There's the remains. I'm getting ready to go ahead and bag these bad boys. Lays. Now, I usually don't label my bags as far as the date, because I kind of know based on the videos that I post or that I make, I kind of know when I caught the fish um, at the end of the day. So they're not gonna be in the freezer more than 30 days. Uh, I'll be surprised if they last you know two weeks but they have a tendency I, I i don't really like thawed out fish i like to eat my fish fresh you know so anything that i catch the day after or the day of depending on what time i come home uh, i eat it that day you know um it tastes different for me you know so as you can see, I got all the fillets situated pretty nice on the inside of the bag. Now these come pre-sealed on the bottom, so you know they cost a little bit extra, but I don't have to do the roll out, seal it, cut it, and so forth. So I don't I'm too lazy for all that. So you gotta make sure the opening is in the vacuum tray in the little channel. You know, so pretty much sit it in there. Make sure it's in there real nice. You know, nice and even. Push it down, lock it in. Lock it in. Now this side don't wanna, so old, but hey, it works. I have to hold this side down. This side locks, but this side doesn't. But you know, until it breaks completely, I'm not getting rid of it. So. You can actually see the air being sucked out. Once it's nice and flat, once it stops, all the air is out. Now I'm going to seal it. Guess what that means? Done. So, open it up. There's my bag of fillets.